From the hypnotic movements of fish swimming in the lake, we enter a fluid underwater world. Tingrith Fishery in the UK was the setting for the lake, a site-specific work that combines live tracking of random natural patterns with music and animation. Fish are electronically tagged and their movements used to compose enveloping soundscapes and transient visuals. Over the 18-month development cycle, the process of creating the artwork involved many people. The staff and regular visitors to the site became involved with the project from an early stage and many of the anglers helped to catch the fish. In the real lake, which is approximately 4,000 square metres in size, 16 fish comprising four each, four species, had tags implanted into their body cavity by a fish surgeon. These tiny powered tags enabled each fish's position to be tracked 24 hours a day over a six week period. The tags were bioacoustic transmitters that emit a unique high frequency sound every two seconds. Each sound was picked up by an array of six underwater microphones. By determining the volume of the tag sound at each hydrophone, the software in the receiver unit used a technique called triangulation to pinpoint each fish's location in three dimensions. These coordinates formed the datasets that were the basis for the audio and visual aspects of the installation. The real-time processing of the fish data was a world first for this type of bioacoustic tag. Once inside a towering metal structure, representations of the fish create an animated visual terrain in real time. By looking up at the animation, the viewer was faced with an illuminated artificial digital lake, set in a darkened environment, resonating with vibration, movement and spatialised audio. The lake translates the beautiful dance of the fish and their interrelationships into a richly layered, sensory environment. Changes in brightness, colour and form indicate alterations in the movement and variations in the dominance of the fish. Trails and graphic auras plot each fish's journey. These abstract visuals directly reflected the movement of the fish and their behaviour, both within each species and collectively. Each fish was represented by a polygon with two inner shapes. The most popular fish inflated its outer shape, its ego or aura, whilst the ego of the least popular fish shrunk. The large sail-like shapes linked fish from the same species together. These shapes indicated how close fish within a species were to each other, and whether they were shoaling or spread across the lake. Melody and rhythm are coaxed out of the fish's unpredictable and unorchestrated behaviour. Each fish has a bank of sound samples that were triggered in response to an activity or behaviour. All of the sample sounds were recorded around the fishery, underwater and underground. As the fish swam or changed direction, a sound was played. This was looped or cropped to match the distance moved by the fish. If a fish was the fastest or slowest swimmer in the group, it played its corresponding sample. A sound was also played when the popularity of a fish went up or down. This was calculated by determining how many neighbours a fish had. Each fish also had transmission indications, which were played every time new data was received from the tag. In addition to the sound being composed by the fish's movements and popularity hierarchy, volume variations are determined by the collective data from each species and from all the fish. The resulting work crossed the boundaries between art, nature and technology, transforming complex scientific processes into an audio-visual experience. Exposing afresh the magic of natural systems that surround us, the lake helps us discover new, previously hidden worlds. <laughs>